This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to change the default material when ZBrush starts up so that you can load a custom material instead? So here I just have ZBrush loaded up, and by default you can see I have that red wax material over there. So if I select any models in my tool palette here and load them in like so or go to edit mode, you can see that the model is going to start by default with that red wax material. So if you wanted to change your material to a custom one now, say like this Ma Shiny here, you'd now have to come over here and do this uh, before you can get your model kind of where you want it to start sculpting on it. So is there a way to get this to start up like this using ZBrush? So the answer is yes. The first method you can use is just saving out a project file. So if you come over here to the File Save As menu over here, this is going to save out a ZBrush project file. And when you save this file out, it's going to save whatever tools you have loaded over here and also whatever mat cap you have selected. So if I save this out right now, it's going to save out what I see right here on my screen. So it's going to save out this PolyMesh 3D Star and it's going to save out that mat cap material. So now when I start ZBrush, I come to File, Open, and open that ZPR file, and it's going to bring me right back to this stage. And then from here, you could start loading in different tools like so, and they're just going to load in, and that matte cap material is going to be the one selected. Now, this requires you to do a file open to actually get to the version of a project that has that matte cap stored with it. I have also written a free unofficial ZBrush plugin that will allow you to generate a startup file. So if I come over here to the Z plugin here and just expand that out over to this area. So I have written a plugin called Z Startup Master. And if I open this plugin up, this will allow you to set various options over here by just simply clicking on these guys over here. And these will allow you to have these different features to automatically load on ZBrush Start. So if I want my scene to start off with this chest piece here and with that material over there, I can go to the plugin and just say store current tool, store material, start in edit mode. I can also turn off spotlight projection and I can do other things like force light box to remain closed. Now, after this is done, you just come over here and click install custom startup. This is going to install a custom script, and you'll get a little note that says it has been installed. To uninstall this, you just come over here and click uninstall. But now, after this has been stored out, if I now close ZBrush and relaunch, you're going to see ZBrush is going to open up, and it's going to bring me right back to where I was when I saved that script. So you can see I have now that material stored there. My model is right back where it was as I left off, and I can just get right in and start sculpting. So this plugin is called Z Startup Master, and it is an unofficial plugin. I just update it on the side in my free time, and I will post a link to this plugin underneath this video in the description. So hopefully this will help generate a startup default scene and even material that you can load right when ZBrush launches. And to uninstall it, you just come down here to the uninstall startup. It will remove all those scripts. And now if I just close ZBrush and restart again, you'll be returned back to the default red wax material and no tools loaded in your scene. So I hope that helps. And if you have any additional questions involving ZBrush related pipelines, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.